Hi guys, just gonna quick tutorial on how to actually using the pick and mix mode uh, for Unit BIOS 4.0. Only this mode available for the multi game 161 in one. Um, I I try to read tutorials on these. Uh, come with to Unit BIOS 4.0. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And luckily, I get the tips from German Nation X on how to actually uh, access the pick and mix mode and how to use it. Uh, with my current setup, which is the Astro CD cabinet and it, the Neo Geo MV1B is currently connected to the JNX Atlas and it has a CPS1 kick harness already hooked up to it and the dip switch on the uh, JAMA Nation X Atlas is going to be set to JAMA pass-through and let's go through the button wiring layer so this is gonna be A, B, C, D. This button, fifth buttons, is going to be select or coin for the first player. So this is very important. This button do nothing. So we're gonna be start one. And the other side is gonna be start two. A, B, C, D. Gonna be coin two or select two. I don't think it's selective, it's just coin two do nothing so uh, based on the tip I have is you have to turn off the cabinet and while you turn turn on the cabinet you have to hold this button until the logo appear then you can release it if you keep holding the buttons you straight away would be able to see the pick and mix menu appear so let's see if it works So I'm holding that button down, the fifth button, the select button, and there we go. If it's successful, you will see the pix and mix mode appear straight away on the screen. So I'm still holding it. I'm still holding the select button. If you're still holding it, then you can also press up and down. Got something here. Up or down to choose the game. So if you want to choose that game, you just have to release the button. So let's see if I choose the last plate game. I'm just going to release the button, relax, release select button. And we choose the game. And say if I want to go back to that menu, I just have to hold this select button again. And you see that will go allow you to choose the same. So based on what I heard is if you don't put any coins in or you don't press any start, if you let this intro play through, at the end of each intro of each game and if you don't start the game or you put the coins in, this will actually rotate to the random games or probably the next games. It's kind of like a track mode so you leave it on running, we'll just jump to the next games and you know so uh, uh, let, let's see if they actually do that I'm just gonna wait until the intro over there you go it jumped to another game this is probably Garo so let's say if we play the game so I'm just gonna I'm on free play mode so I don't need to put the coins in let's just play one game so while you're playing the game, you would not be able to access the pick and mix mode menu at all. So if, if you see, I'm trying to hold this button, you wouldn't be able to see any menu appear at all. It wouldn't work. It would not allow you to access that menu at all. So another for you to do it is you have to get yourself back to the title screen of that game. So in this case, I have to actually get myself die and game over so that you can go to that title screen however you can just all do a soft reboot that would be a quicker option to do so just have to press the select button and press the p1 start and you can access you see this menu scroll down and press on soft reboot system and if you soft reboot system you go back to title screen then you can just press this select button to access the the game again so this is a much quicker way